the 2K Sports pregame show. With the Diesel and the Jet, this is Ernie Johnson. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. And tonight, it'll be the Memphis Grizzlies going up against the Houston Rockets. Looking at Houston, they split the season series against these guys last season, two games apiece. Should be a good one tonight. We'll be watching Dwight Howard patrolling the paint tonight. He's no longer the unquestioned best center in the NBA, but there are times, Shaq, where he can still be a dominant force. Yeah, you know, he still has that physical advantage, Ernie, against 99% of the guys in the post. That's what I've been saying for a long time. And he does this every now and then, but that's why I've been saying for a long time. 28 and 10, I think he could do it. And every now and then, he can, he can do that. Well, Superman! Is it Don't you say it. Okay, I'll Don't you say it. Okay, I thought he was. If but you say I, it again, I'm going to reach across the table. I, I won't say it anymore. Okay. But his defense is still huge, and that also can win basketball games. And he has been a defensive stopper regardless of his offensive uh, efforts. I'll let you say it one more time. Superman is not in the building. He's over here <laughs> sitting with us. That's don't, try, don't try to butter me up. <laughs> <laughs> you can't butter up this biscuit. That's <laughs> it for now as we send you to Kevin Harlan and the rest of the 2K sports crew. Live from Memphis, Tennessee, at the home of the Grizzlies, we're broadcasting from the FedEx Forum. And for the Memphis Grizzlies guys, they come in off that loss to the Heat in Miami. And that was a real body blow for them. They got taken apart both offensively and defensively. And guys, an important addition to the usual starting lineups has been made tonight, as we'll get to see the first official NBA start from Jordan. You know, and he's earned that spot in the starting five with some impressive play. So I wouldn't be surprised to see him hang on to it for a long time. Well, it's certainly a big responsibility they're giving him, but I think he's ready for it. He's got the poise that's needed to take an opportunity in the starting lineup and make the best of it. All fueled up and ready to go. Brought to you by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. And so in the game for the Rockets. Moda Yunus and Howard, the post pair. Harden out there with Lawson, and it's Jordan in at the small forward. Harden kicks to Howard, and it's blocked by Wright. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Wright. Here is Harden. Outside Jordan. Five to shoot. Houston needs to get a shot off. And stolen by Wright. Here's Hudrick. 14 points from him the last game against the Heat in Miami. And equally as impressive, the playmaking. Just sensational. The way he was seeing the court and making the game easy for his teammates. Jordan's shot is off. And here are the Grizzlies now. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of Miami. Yeah, not a very inspired performance for them, particularly when they were defending. They just gave that hostile crowd plenty to cheer for. Yeah, they allowed a lot of free runs to the hoop, a lot of open jump shots. And in the end, the opponent's shooting percentage was through the roof. You can't win if your defense isn't better than that. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lid off the basket so far. And it's out of bounds to the Rockets as Houston retains possession. And here in the first, closing in on two minutes play. Power dishes to Jordan. The Grizzlies pull it in. Still scoreless after four attempts, trying to take the lid off the basket. Right, the pass to Udrick. Some nice passing there by Memphis. Wright sets a screen for Green. Off target with his three. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. I briefly spoke with Dave Yeager. He said their scouting report is really all about how to handle Dwight Howard. Obviously a tremendously impactful player at both ends of the court. Coach said, offensively, we always need to know where he is. Defensively, it's always about doing your work early. 
trying to hold your ground and deny him prime position inside. Sounds like a good plan, Kevin. Thank you, Doris. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. For Memphis, they've gone two or three here to start out the game. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Here's Udrick. The shot is off, so Houston will take it the other way. This game coming after a loss against the Jams. You know, I don't like to use the word shock, but that was a shocking result for me. Nobody saw that one coming. To lose to that team was surprising enough, but to get blown out like that? I know. I mean, I'm with you there. It just seemed as though they were sleepwalking their way through that entire game. It was in my estimation, just inexcusable. For Houston, they've gotten only one of six shots to drop for them to start this game. Lawson has the open look. That's good. And so Howard with the assist. Lawson's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. And Udrick kicks to Green. Feeds it to Allen. He dishes it to Green. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. This, of course, their first opportunity to play Memphis this season. And last year, an entertaining season series between the two ended up battling to a draw. Well, you look at these teams, evenly matched, similar capabilities. That makes for exciting game. We'll see if that's the case tonight. Now, here's Green after Monte Yunus' miss. Right with a screen on Monte Yunus. And he comes off the screen to bury the jump shot. And it's six points for Jeff Green. Man, he's having quite the quarter, converting at a really high percentage. Lawson dishes to Jordan. Off on the layup. He's going to play his way right onto the bench and out of the game if he continues to shoot it like he has so far in this quarter. And there's a whistle. That's going to go on James Harden. That's his first foul. First team foul. Rockets on defense. The drive by Green. Here's Hudrick, guarded by Harden. Clock at six. Now Udrick. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Jordan, the pass to Harden. Jordan the screen lets it go from the wing and it's Lawson that time on the assist by Harden. Lawson's got five now. That was some slick passing from Harden on that one. Here's Hudrick. He's a good contributor to his team averaging about ten and a half points a game. Wright sets a screen and Hudrick kicks to right. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. And we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. And here's Lawson. He has five. Jordan inside. He's against Green. And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. Now that's how you pick up second chance points. Stay active and be ready as soon as the shot goes up. For Houston, they have made their only other free throw attempt today in an earlier trip to the line. And taking a look at their free throw statistics on the season, uh, right around 74%. And that's a little better than they did last year from the free throw line. Here's Hudrick on the wing, Green. Shoots from 12. Rebounded by Howard. That's an unusual, surprising miss for him. Typically, he's good on those inside. And there's the call on Brandon Wright. That's his first foul. And now only one away from being in the penalty. Yep, the next one puts them on the line, so they've got to be careful the rest of the way. Lawson outside. There's a screen by Modi Yunus. Howard with a screen on Allen. Got freed up. Nice work off the pit. Harden's got his first basket. 
Man, I love to see James Harden go to work and shoot that ball. Clark, they've been looking out of sync offensively. You know what? A basket here would do a lot for their confidence. Now Udrich. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Shot clock at six. Here's Allen. It's rebounded by Houston. Jordan's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Harden outside. Soft touch on the glass. Harden's got his second bucket of the night. That's just run of the mill for him. A typical day at the office. He's one of the more skilled offensive players out there. All right, Memphis, you got your greatest girls on the court. Give them a nice round of applause. Here's a look at the teams that have been dominant offensively over the course of the past month. The Rockets, number one. You know what, Kevin, as a team, they've been getting great results offensively. I mean, they seem to always get the ball to the right guy at the right time in the right position. Some changes for Memphis. Porter's checked in for Green. And it's Lamb in there for Allen. Trevor Ariza's checked in for Houston. Patrick Beverly comes in for Ty Lawson. The Grizzlies trail by seven. Udrich dishes to Porter. It's good. This time the assist from Udrich. Porter's got his first two points of the night. And that's his strong suit, the ability to find his way through the D and finish at the rim. Jordan the screen. A shot by Harden. Wide open. They get it back. Rebounding is going to be the focal point for them in this one, fellas. I can feel it. You know, it always is, and it has been so far, and they've gotten a nice edge on the glass. Outside Jordan. This is the Beverly. Jordan the screen. And here's Harden for three, and he gets it to go. Harden's got his third basket of the night right there. And he came off that screen, and the D just didn't get over the top of it. Yep, weren't there in time enough to challenge, Greg. And when that's the case, you can mark those up for him. Here's Hudrick. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Memphis needs to get off a shot here. From deep. Gets that one to fall after missing his first two. One for three from the field. And the rapid fire threes coming from everywhere. Yeah, I'm not sure of the quality of that three point shot attempt right there. Going at it the way they did, but it all worked out for him. Now here's Jordan. 20 points for him last game against the Utah Jazz. Screen by Howard. Harden the pass to Howard with the fadeaway. A second chance effort, and Jordan with the layup. Jordan's got five now. Really nice job to convert the putback opportunity there. I mean, he stayed with that play from start to finish. That's something we say about him a lot. Here's Hudrick. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. And that's his second foul already, and that's going to force him to tone down his aggression defensively. And the Grizzlies with some changes. Njai checked in, and it's Adams in for Udrich. And the Rockets making a change here as well. Brewers checked in. Now here's Beverly. Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. Screen by Howard. Pass to Brewer. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. There it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great position inside. Yeah, just getting the ball into the post has to be option number one for them right now. And so here's Memphis. The Rockets making the shot. Here's Stokes. True on the 14-footer. Now here's Beverly. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. The feed now to Jordan. Four on the clock. Here's Ariza. And it comes off the front of the rim. The Grizzlies trail by seven. The pass to Lamb. 